this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech number 322, where I help you get rid of all of your friends. Yes, this is the Commander Top 10 list that almost no one has been waiting for, the Top 10 Commander hate cards out there. Do you have too many friends? Too many people show up to your playgroup? to play EDH, well now there's an opportunity to fix that. Turn all your opponent's lands into creatures, give them a upkeep, and make sure that yours are indestructible in the process. Although all three of these cards are great, they fall into the category that I'm going to be talking about today, which is hate cards. Cards that specifically are designed to cause pain or suffering to your opponents. Now, I'm going to be avoiding cards over $50 because this is Commander and most of us are playing on a budget and can't afford the crazy stuff on the reserve list. For honorable mentions here, I've got some cards that don't actually do a lot themselves, but are direct hate cards for particular strategies. Stranglehold, great card for shutting down obnoxious multiple turns and searching of libraries, but doesn't really do a lot on its own. Leyline of the Void and Rest in Peace, you absolutely must have these cards against a certain type of reanimator deck, but on their own, they're a little bit light. Nevermore, I had to cut the list somewhere, and as you'll see, the list is already way too long. Nevermore is the absolute best hate card for commanders. Just name your opponent's commander, and they don't get to play their strategy. Number 11 spot here, I have cards that slow the game down to a mind-numbing pace. The ability to only cast one spell per turn, how good is that for you and the whole table? adds another hour on to the game. Aetherstorm Canonist happens to be my favorite here because it is one-sided. If you've got a heavy artifact deck, you just keep on going playing artifacts. Stasis. This is the old school personal favorite card of mine for shutting down the game and making sure that people never play magic again. Blind Obedience, Kismet, they're solid additions here. You, they play well by themselves, and I actually like Blind Obedience even better than Kismet because that extort ability on there is just crazy good. One of my favorite EDH cards. Number nine spot here, who knows what you're going to be playing? Possibility Storm shuts down combos and does cool chaos -y things. This is a wonderful red card that causes people so much frustration and anger, it is just too entertaining. In the number eight spot here, I've got taxing effects. Who wants to count up all their mana and then add in a bunch of extra mana that they weren't planning on playing? I think Ristic Study is the most annoying one here because the person who controls the enchantment has to remember it, and then the whole rest of the table is gonna stare at you if you don't pay that one because you're just giving the blue player what he needs, extra card, to take over over the entire board. Number seven spot here, Molder Slug, Kataki, Null Rod, everybody's got a soul ring, might as well make sure that it doesn't work. Shut down those artifacts early and often. Number six spot here, it feels so good to flash an Avon Mind Sensor in in response to a Demonic Tutor. That combo player is ready to go off and crush the whole table. Out of nowhere comes a Bird Wizard to shut them down. Great card in Modern, wonderful EDH card. Number five spot here, Teferi. Who needs to cast instants? You should only be able to play spells when you can play sorceries. City of Solitude, solid way to do the same thing in green. Number four spot here, Creatures. Everybody hates creatures. Let's just turn them all into pleasant little one ones. They don't even get an enter the battlefield effect. Beyond that, you can learn how layers works. That's that rule that no one knows, including most judges. And if you can't afford a tabernacle, pick up a magus of the tabernacle. Make sure that all creatures have their own extra cost to them, or just kill them all with Elish Norn. Number three spot here. One of my favorite hate bears as a commander, Gaddick Teague. Shut down those blue players. Shut down those really cool spells that everybody's been ramping into. Those high casting cost spells can't be played if they're non-creature, four or greater. X spells, we don't need those either. No G-waves, no green suns. Number two spot here, 
why play magic when we can just sacrifice all of our permanents and make sure there is absolutely nothing left on the board except my single wing condition. Smokestacks is a wonderful way to do that and you even get to learn about how the stack works so that you can make sure that you sacrifice one less permanent than other people as you're ticking it up. Number one spot here, let's hate on some land. Land is what everybody needs in order to cast cool stuff. Wiener Orb, overpowered, incredible card in Commander. Back to basics, let's hate on the individuals who have way too much money to spend on dual lands and ruination. Let's one-sided Armageddon. I'll play all my basics and all your non-basics go away. Hall of Gemstones and Price of Progress are nice honorable mentions here. Why kill someone with their non-basic lands when you can just watch them struggle slowly for a long period of time? Now I know there's some cards that didn't make this list, including the angel who will not be named. If you have your own suggestions, put them in the comments. So I want to thank everybody who's over there on Patreon supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. We've got lots of cool new videos coming up this fall. So until next time, choose the cards wisely.